Greg Moore, AZ Central Sports, here in Phoenix. Dwayne Rankin is in Chicago at the NBA Draft Combine, and he's looking at players. So he's out there on the, in the field. I'm back here working the phones. So let's see what he's learning. All right, Dwayne, who's turning heads out there? The question is who's not turning heads and who or who's not here. Uh, Zion Williamson isn't here. R.J. Barrett isn't here. John Morant was here, but he didn't do any of the drills or play in any of the scrimmages. And Cam Reddish didn't play any of the scrimmages. DeAndre Hunter isn't here. Darius Garland isn't here. Uh, Jared Culver is here, but he didn't participate in any of the scrimmages or the drills. So the bigger thing is who is not here as opposed to who is here. So there's a lot of good players, uh, but they're not, in looking at Phoenix, you're talking about that top six uh, type guy. Uh, those, those, those people aren't here or didn't participate in the drills. You know, I really don't like that. I wish guys would actually go through these drills. I mean, quit hiding, right? Show me something. Don't tell me what I could know. Prove it. But with that said, tell me what the Phoenix Suns are thinking. What's James Jones thinking? I know you talked to him. Looking at Phoenix, talked to uh, James Jones yesterday. He, he talked about he's, he's, he's fine with the spot they're at. You know, they were, they obviously were excited about the opportunity to possibly get a top three pick, but he said, we're okay with that. Um, he said that, you know, they're looking just to find a guy that can complement the young guys that they have. I asked him straight up, would you trade up for Ja Morant? Uh, Memphis is seemingly locked into picking him at two. He said he's open to anything, but he didn't specifically say that that's something that they would do. And he said there were a lot of guys that, that you would opt to trade up for. Uh, the only two other guys I could think that you would do that for would be Zion Williamson or R.J. Barrett. Uh, New Orleans is picking Zion, so R.J. Uh, if it, you know looks like he's going to head to the Knicks. That top three seems to be filled, but he, he talked about you know just finding the right guy. Uh, to complement what they have and uh, just a very interesting deal. Kobe White, could he be a point guard uh, for them? I guess, but you know, you're talking about another guy in development. He, he's not what Ja Morant is, so he could be there for them at six, but you know, it, 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 that's a tough thing. Maybe, you, maybe they trade down. If you say you're open to anything, that leads me to thinking a bunch of things. Trade up, trade down, uh, stay pat and or picking with packages and shipping and all that so there's a lot of options i think they're open to pretty much doing anything with that pick man that's a lot of options up down out we'll see what happens any surprises out there i'm surprises surprises taco fall the dude is ginormous like literally i walked by and was like walking past one of the buildings in chicago this guy is tall out of this world that put up some crazy measurements um, but that, that was surprising uh, and I guess the other thing is just, you know, you're not seeing the guys that Phoenix would, would, would potentially draft, um, you know, in, in here. And, and so, and, or either here, not participating in stuff, or, or not here at all. And, and if you're Phoenix, you, you, you know, that can be frustrating. But James Jones talked about he's looking forward to bringing guys in to do workouts. And, and, and that's going to be where you'll see Phoenix, wherever they bring in, clearly are going to be the ones that are really targeting. Right now, it's just, hey, let's just see who's out here. Let's see who can play, who can't. A lot of GMs running around, a lot of VPs running around, a lot of shop talking going on. Uh, and, 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 and Alvin Gentry is still smiling from getting Zion Williamson with the number one pick. Just a little FYI.